Hi guys, Richard here from the Reshoot Proxima 3 development team, giving you a little bit of insight into how I'm optimizing the game so that you can have more fun shooting stuff. What you see here is a typical attack wave which you will encounter many times in the game. And since a shoot em up is the more fun, the more objects you can shoot, my goal with uh, Reshoot Proxima 3 really is to display as many objects on screen as possible. On the Amiga, one of the secrets of displaying many objects is using the blitter efficiently. My approach was to combine conventional 4-channel cookie cut blitz with fast 2-channel copy blitz. Let's pause the video for a second. You can see flat shaded and textured objects here. The flat shaded brighter objects are drawn using copy blitz. The textured and darker objects are drawn using cookie blitz. To optimize efficiency, code is not using conventional slow cookie cut blitz all the time, but checks for each object, each frame, if a fast copy blitz is possible. Now let's check if the dynamic use of cookie cut and copy blitz runs faster using the proven raster bar test. The wider the white bar is, the more time it takes code to execute. The test provides a result of 92 scan lines for drawing the attack wave using dynamic blitz in the busiest moment. Now let's repeat the test with the exact same attack wave but using conventional cookie cut blitz only. Looks like we have a clear winner here. It took the slower cookie cut blitz method exactly 113 scan lines to draw the attack wave in the busiest moment while the faster copy blitz took 92 scan lines, about 20% less. For some extra fun, why not compare dynamic and cookie cut blitz on a split screen? Because you know, the rest of our test cannot be wrong. Thanks for watching this video, please like, share and tell your friends about it.